Hey guys, it's Cisco here at the Summer Wonder Festival in Japan at the massive Prime One booth. Uh, I'm going to try and get you guys a full booth tour now. Uh, it is a bit busy. I do apologize if I can't uh, get a close up on any pieces, but rest assured, I'm going to try and do a review of every single piece here so we can get you guys a lot of close ups and things. So I'll just walk you guys around the booth now. Uh, so we'll start here with the Bloodborne. So we've got the Hunter. Then we've got Lady Maria with the Astral Clock Tower. It's a beautiful piece, guys. Really, really like this one. And then uh, the new piece, this is Eileen the Crow. Awesome, awesome piece. Love the cloak on it. Uh, that looks like feathers and uh, the beak-like mask. Fantastic piece. All right, so moving on to Jurassic Park line. This is the life-size baby blue. Uh, it's huge. I don't know if you can quite see that in relation to the other pieces, but this thing is massive. Um, but it's incredibly detailed and really, really well done. Then we have the Indoraptor. Uh, so there's actually a light up in this space. It's very cool. This is the uh, adult blue. Really nice looking piece. Uh, so then they've got the T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park movie. Uh, so you've got the fence at the back with the plants and he's kind of breaking out. This is just a really nice piece. It's not bad, it looks good. And then a Triceratops, also from the original Jurassic Park movie. And then uh, there's a lot more guys. So we got Predator over here. There's uh, more DC, so I might go here next. This is their half scale it, uh, Pennywise from it. Uh, this thing's incredible, uh, incredible guys. Check out the face, clear resin water, arm um, reaching out from under the great mixed media uh, for the whole costume, and um, yeah, the face, amazing. Uh, half scale Terminator T800 endoskeleton. Um, I like this pose a lot more seeing it in person. Didn't like it from pictures, but looks really good. Huge piece again, half scale. Then we've got the Kong versus Skull Crawler. Diorama. I really, really like this dio. Got a water effect on the base. Uh, there's like a fur effect on Kong as well. Chains and things holding the skull crawler. It's got its tail wrapped around him. Looks great. And then we've got the Ronin from Modern Combat Versus. Uh, this is a really interesting one. So Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. He's got two completely different configurations and poses. So this one's uh, in a pointing style pose. I like this base uh, with the um, like stone statues. And then the second pose. Yes, different arms, different torso, and different legs. Uh, same base at the moment. Very nice. Then we've got Gravity Rush 2. This is Raven. This 
this one is cat. And then we've of course got Alphonse and Edward from Full Metal Alchemist. Then we have the uh, Batman Dark Knight 3 Batman. Very big piece, but uh, beautiful. It's got the eagle on the base. Uh, so uh, he had a rifle at uh, SDCC and now he's got a, a grappling hook. We've got the uh, Ninja Batman. I uh, love this piece. Then we have an Injustice 2 Black Manta um, and an Aquaman. Uh, I really like these Injustice pieces actually. I think they look really cool. They've got like water effects on the bases, uh, animals and things. It's in this crazy action pose. Got a light up in the head in the uh, helmet. Very cool. And then we have uh, Aquaman. So again, uh, really nice clear resin water on the base uh, with fish and things. The water's all swirling around him. And he's got the uh, trident. Um, but check out this portrait. It's amazing. Yeah, both uh, great pieces for the Injustice line. Um, and then possibly my favorite piece at this whole convention. Um, there's a lot of great pieces here, but man, they knocked this thing out of the park. Here's Lobo. It's got a shotgun and a hook. And dog, of course. Um, but space dolphins, guys. Space dolphins. Look how cool this thing is. Amazing. Um, I will get a longer video for you guys later, so show you more of this. Use the Alita. Um, and then so excited that they have some aliens and predator stuff here guys um, so this is a life-size bust from the upcoming uh, new predator movie um, so this bust is massive you're not going to be able to tell probably um, on film but it is enormous um, but the best thing about it is that this biomass comes off you can swap out the battle damage one for the clean one um, and there is a full sculpted head underneath. So also a light up in the helmet and the plasma cannon. Uh, here's their comic one quarter line for the Aliens and Predator. So this is a one quarter uh, Xenomorph from the comics. Really, really digging this piece. Um, I wasn't going to do any more one quarter Aliens and Predators, but I think this has probably changed my mind. So you've got the uh, egg with the face hugger there. There's another one here. This may be the exclusive. Got a cool base with the Whaley Tiny logo. And of course, badass Xenomorph. Then you've got their, uh, I think this is the black, uh, cracked tusk predator, sorry. In this uh, cool jumping pose, light up in the helmet, holding the spear. Very, very cool. And then another predator here uh, from the comic line. Again with the light up in the eyes and the cannon. Uh, not painted yet. I'm looking forward to seeing this painted. A bunch of skulls and things on the base. Okay, so quickly do Transformers. So this is the Optimus Prime Jet Power. Humongous piece, guys. Huge. Uh, this is 
is the Sentinel Prime. And then of course uh, we have Bumblebee. Alright, um, try and go this way. Here we have the Batman Who Laughs. This was shown at SDCC also. Um, it's awesome in person. Awesome, guys. Uh, so all these real metal chains. We've got the little robins on the base. Very, very cool piece. Uh, so here's their um, new one-third scale Destro. Uh, this is a comics based one. Um, I really like it. Love the pose. I think it's really dynamic. And love the base as well. It's got this kind of uh, stone reaper style thing. Very, very nice. And then we have the uh, Nightfall Batman. I uh, really like this one as well. And then uh, here we go with the Hush Line. Um, really, really digging this Batman in person. Um, I love the adjusted pose. Look at the portrait. Beautiful shading on the piece. So he has a kryptonite ring now. Um, very, very awesome. So uh, this is the Hush Superman with the fabric cape. Portrait looks great. I actually don't mind this cape, uh, despite the fact I don't like uh, normally like mixed media. Uh, it's just a really nice looking cape. Um, and the fabric cape means you can uh, rotate Superman on that uh, pedestal as well. So, bonus. Alright, here is the Hush Poison Ivy. Um, beautiful. Falling with detail. Big piece. Um, and then the Huntress. Um, I think they they absolutely knocked this out of the park. I think it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful face. Um, I really like the pose leaning against the wall. Um, yeah, fabulous looking piece. Lots of detail on the base. Okay, um, so we've got pretty much the whole Berserk line here. Uh, so I'll try and get you all of them. So for starters, there's a new reveal of the one-third scale Guts Black Swordsman. So there's a switch out arm. Um, so this one has him with the sword over the back. There's another arm pointed down. Um, there's multiple portraits. Um, and this one also has a fabric cape. So then just moving on to the Apostle form of Zod. I love this piece, guys. It is so impractical. It is nearly undisplayable. But I love it. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's so huge. It's ridiculous. I uh, love the face, light up eyes, the column being pushed over here. You got just carnage on the face. I think it's awesome. Then we have the human form sword. Love this piece as well. The fur is outstanding. Okay, I'll try and move on. Sorry. We've got the Black Swordsman quarter scale here. 
And then we have a new reveal. So this is Shuke. <laughs> I think this came out great. Love the base on it. Great job for the character. We've got the Berserker armor guts. And we've got Isidro. I think they did a really amazing job on this and, and Shioke. They're um, smaller characters, smaller bases. Uh, you can sort of see compared to the rest of the line. Uh, very displayable. Um, but uh, really nailed a lot of aspects of their characters. All right, so this is also a new one for the convention. This is the uh, Beast of Casca's Dream. It's apparently a, a recent um, a scene from the manga. So you've got the beast here, standing on the sword, the coffin. Very cool. And then a Griffith with the helmeted portrait, uh, which looks beautiful. Love this portrait. Love this piece, actually. One of my favorites of the line. Beautiful piece. All right, then we have Conrad. Void. Good job with a uh, difficult character design, I think, for Void. And then we have Femto, of course. Um, base on this is just incredible. Um, definitely one of the best of the line. It's just amazing. Then we have Slan. The Ludens half scale. It's got a light up in the helmet. This is Gamera. Also has a light up. And of course, uh, Kurin Lagan. This is the full drill version. Drill is amazing. Very cool piece. And then we've got the three Avas. So Ava 2. these bases the cityscape bases little cars and things in the street buildings all broken and cracked there's a really good sense of um, scale for the uh, for the Avas and then we've got the uh, zero prototype um, really like this one I think it looks great uh, so it's holding the big missile. Awesome. All right, there's a little bit more uh, back around here. So 
we've got the fiber line. So a gigantic duck. Base, big hole in him, love that. And the crossed armed swap out torso looks awesome. Five of one, the mega smasher showing in the chest, love that. Rabbits on the base. And then the swap out torso and head as well. And then the Giver, gigantic. And then this one is Alisa from Tekken. Beautiful face. And we've got William from Neo. I really like this one. Lots of detail on the base. Vines and things. I like the pose. I like this um sorry I haven't played the game but the uh, spirit uh, on his back it looks fantastic. So here we have Picket from Fantastic Beasts. And then Nipla, also from Fantastic Beasts. And then finally we have the two new Witcher pieces, the, the DLC costumes. We have Yennefer. And then Geralt. Alright guys, um, so uh, there's a lot of pieces here, um, I'm, I'm trying to video absolutely everything that I possibly can, uh, get you a review of every piece, um, uh, we'll see how I go, <laughs> I'll do my best, um, but as always thank you guys so much for watching, I um, really hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll catch you hopefully on a few of the other videos. Alright, thanks, cheers.